All right, quick and dirty video, so no editing. Um, I just, this is to answer a question that a user asked in a forum, and I thought it'd be great for everybody. Question is, how do I take my light that has a Dr. Jones H17F driver and add moonlight? So the idea is that you want it to be stock the way it normally is, but just add a moonlight before it. Now this light right here already has a moonlight set up. You can see how low that is, and you can't even really see it on my hand. Um, so that's what we want. Now, I'm gonna reset this light back to factory. Now before I do that, and that, by the way, that's 10 clicks, and I'm not gonna show the manual. I'm doing this quickly, so look up the manual online. Um, I'll put it in the link description if you don't know where it is. But, I, but this, the user that's asking this question specifically has it in a Lee light like this. Now one of the first things I wanna point out is Lee uses a reverse clicky. So I did a full click to get power on and then half clicks, then cycle, right? Half clicks. But when I'm let go, it's still on and then a full click disengages. That's the opposite of most lights that have a Dr. Jones. Like on this one, if I do a half press, it's already on and a full click then latches it. And if I do half presses right now, nothing happens. So on this light, which is the light I'm gonna be using for demonstration, I'm gonna be doing these half presses, these half presses on the back, and I'm never gonna latch it. Now, if the user, I think he has a reverse clicky because he's talking about a Lee light. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna fully click it on and then mash, you know, half clicks a lot like this, and when he sees it go into programming mode, then he's gonna mash in what he wants, uh, um, you know, tap, 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 without unlatching. And when he gets to something, then he'll unlatch. All right, so I hope he understands that. Now, first step, let's get into programming mode. So, we're gonna mash, right? Lots of half clicks here. And now, since I'm on a uh, reverse, I'm uh, sorry, forward clicky, I have to hold that button in the half click position to get to provide power for the driver. So let's mash again. And you can see that it's stopped flashing. So now I'm gonna hold. And you see that kind of flashing it's doing on its own? That means I'm in programming mode, okay? Now I waited too long because I was talking, but let's do it again. Once I get to that programming mode flash, I'm gonna half click, half press 10 times. Now when I say half press, I mean I'm releasing fully, but going back in, really fast so that the driver knows that I'm not waiting. So here we go. So mashing. Okay, I'm in programming mode. I'm holding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I hold on ten and it flashed to confirm. When I let go, now it is completely programmed. And you can see that um, actually it's pretty low to be honest. It's pretty darn low. Uh, hang on, let's see here. One, two, three, four. Let me make sure that I'm doing this right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. Okay. Yeah, no, it's pretty low. It's pretty low, low. But that's the way mindset. Now, um, if you're doing it on this one, you're gonna go um, click on, then mash one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, like this until it goes to programming mode. Then once you're in programming mode, now I'm I'm clicking off because this doesn't actually have a Dr. Jones. But um, then, once it goes to programming mode, you'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let see the confirmation and then unclick it. Okay. Now, once you've got that lowest, oh, and I can tell that the factory actually did work on this because notice that mode memory is still on. Mode memory is now on. I had mode memory off, so I'm going to set this up the way that I normally do, which is mode memory off. So I'm going to change that first. So I'm going to enter programming mode again. Okay, programming mode, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm in that mode and one click just turned off memory. So I went 10 to get into programming mode, then six clicks, I saw a different type of flash, meaning I'm in that sub menu. Then I released and pushed in once and held and it flashed. Now you'll see that I started low and I can go up and when I let go, I'm back at low. So that's mode memory off. Now, let's say you wanna add a lower low than this. So what you're gonna do is you wanna make sure you're on the lowest mode 
and then you're gonna add a mode so that you get two of the first mode. Okay, you gotta add a mode first. So if you had mode memory on, what you wanna do is you wanna cycle through till you get to the one you want to duplicate because adding always duplicates a, a mode. So I am half pressing or on here, it could just be full clicked. And once it's on for more than like two or three seconds, let go. Now when you start to mash for the programming, it knows that the last mode you used is the one you're duplicating. So I'm gonna start mashing, okay? Now I'm in that mode, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. That tells it I wanna add or delete and I go one. The reason why is because five is the mode that adds or deletes and then a one means add, two means delete. So now if you look, I'll have duplicate of the lowest level. Low, and when I press again, low, and then it goes up. Okay, low, low, up, 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 okay? So now that I have those two lowest ones, I want to change uh, the first one. So I'm going to make sure that I am sitting on this first one for more than three seconds. Okay, now that's locked in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter programming mode and choose option three, subgroup three, which is program the brightness. So here we go. Programming mode. Okay, I'm there. Slashing. One, two, three. Now what it's gonna do is the LED's gonna look like it's off when I'm gonna continue to hold, and it starts ramping up. And when it gets to the brightness I want, I just half click again, or, or, or release, uh, you know, release and, and press. So um, that's obviously much higher, brighter than I wanted. Let's go ahead and lock it in. So I released and pressed. On here, you just do a half press. Okay, so I was talking, I let go too high, so the first mode, I got mode memory off, first mode used to be a duplicate of two lows, right? But now the first, very first mode is actually too high. So when I press, you see that's where I'm at. Now when I lift and press again, I'm at the low, and then I go up. So let's get that first one. Now mode memory's off, so when I press, I'm at the first one. I'm gonna hold it for three seconds. Okay, so that's locked in now to as the last mode. Now I'm gonna go to programming mode. Okay, now I'm going to go one, two, three, and wait. There we go, that's what I want. So I saw what I wanted, I lifted and pressed again. Here, when you saw what you wanted, you just do you know half press. All right, so now you go the lowest, and the next one's about the same. So really, it's already really low on this light. Um, uh, just to wrap up, I'm gonna actually clean up my light by removing the second one that I added, okay? So if I uh, press, that's the first one. Press, that's the second one. I'm holding for three seconds to lock it in. Okay, now I'm gonna go programming mode and five to, F5 to add or remove and two to remove. So programming mode, okay. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two. Okay, now I let go, and low, and I'm going up. There you go, so that's how you program it. I hope that makes sense. Uh, sometimes just talking it through and showing it will help. So, Godspeed, as I said uh, to you in messages, you cannot destroy the driver by tapping too much. So just tap away, it's no big deal.